Number talk two. As you can see, this slide has three questions you must answer. The first question actually has one, two, three, four questions inside it. So you could probably do this. I will double click here. If you're on an iPad, you would double tap it. If you're using Google Slides, remember always use Google Slides. So 1.1. 1 .1. Hmm. What is the known unit in this problem? So the known, so the numerical value and the unit of measurement, that is what's known. This one is a question mark behind it. So this part here is what's known. So I would write, I wouldn't write, oh, oops, caps like that. I would not just write the number, the known, oh, known, sorry, okay, known unit is 7 and a half liters. I'm going to write it in words because it's how you would say it anyway, but that is the known. And then I could do it, even do this, 7 point five L. Uh, in my class, actually, fun fun fact, we established that the capital L was in America and Australia should be using lowercase L. We found that out in term one. We're pretty proud of ourselves, to be honest with you. It was quite a quite a fun little uh, chat. So then, one point two. What unit do we want to know? We want to know the milliliters. See how I'm writing it down? And that's only the first part. What is the relationship between the two units? So part 1.3 and then 1.4 is how do you know? You have to explain your reasoning behind things. It's not so much getting the answer, it's actually how you got it. And you, it's better for us teachers to know how you got it. You have to explain your reasoning. It's a very important part of mathematics. Uh, working with mathematically three. Question two. What are, there are two parts to this one. What are some ways to determine the solution? So what are some ways? How can this prove to be true? It's not just doing the mathematics. I'm going to spoil it for you here because you should know it by now that there are, are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. We all know this. So we can work this out using numbers. We would just move the decimal point one, two, three spaces because there are three zeros in 1,000. One, two, three. So it would be 7,500 milliliters. But that's not what we're actually wanting you to do to, to, to determine the solution you can use numbers but let's do something physical you've got seven and a half liters in a you know in a couple of jobs like one big job seven and a half liters in a 10 liter job so what if we get one liter one liter container you know fill it up and then tip it out fill it up and tip it out so fill it up from the 10 liter jug you got 7.5 and if you have seven and a half, that is how you will determine them. So that's, and that's proof, physical proof as well. We all, you can also, how can you prove this to be true? So you do it the physical way and then you do it the mathematical way. Or you can do it the mathematical way, then the physical way, but as long as you can prove it. Then write a word problem is question three. Write a word problem reflects, how does your word problem reflect the conversion? So again, there are two parts to this question. These aren't one answers per one, two, three. You'll have one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight answers on this slide. That's what we expect. Have fun with it.